Good evening, everyone. It is my honor to welcome you all to Mary and JD's wedding reception here in beautiful Toledo. If my speech tonight had a title, it would be Living My Dream. And I look forward to telling you why. So what does this group mean to us? In a word, everything. Every one of you is part of our dream team, and we thank you so much for being here. And we look forward to celebrating with you tonight. Ever since I can remember, Mary has been my biggest role model. She is supportive, uplifting, and generous. She is the first person I go to when there is any drama in my life. She is the first person I go to when I need to cry. She is the first person I go to when I want to tell her absolutely anything and everything to do with my day. And the thing about Mary is that she's always there. Mary always knows what to say, how to react, and how to give the best advice even if it's something I don't want to hear. Mary and I tell each other everything, so making this speech was super hard because I couldn't even ask her advice on it. But truly this bond that we have is something that I value so much in my life. And I don't think I realized that until she moved away for the first time. When Mary went to college, it was hard not having my older sister around. But one of my favorite memories with Mary was back in December 2019. Mary was a sophomore in college and I finally had a decent role in the Nutcracker. Mary was still at school so she wouldn't be able to make it, which was something hard to swallow. But I knew there was nothing I could do to change that. Lo and behold, midway through our dress rehearsal, my mom told me there was something she needed to show me in the lobby. In that moment, I felt in my heart it was going to be Mary walking through the lobby doors. But I tried not to get my hopes up. Mary showed up. Mary always showed up, even if it meant missing hangouts with her friends or parties with her roommates. She always came to see her little sister. Her dedication and commitment to her family and friends is like no other. You are beautiful. Thank you. Gorgeous, Mary. Thank you. I love you so much. <laughs> Wow, look at the tie. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we dress up pretty good, right? Kings today, kings, I see. Yeah. James, as I sit down to write this, I am overwhelmed with gratitude to God. I know that he is here, that he is with us, and that he has had his hand over our story all along. You are the most special person my heart will ever hold. Every moment with you is a little miracle, a taste of the heaven we are one day promised. I can't believe I get a lifetime of those little miracles. We have a whole lifetime of adventure ahead of us. Highs and lows, chasing dreams, feeling failures, good times and bad. But I know that I will always have a friend beside me, encouraging me, uplifting me, and bringing me back to what matters most. That is the greatest joy and gift of all, to share all of this life with you. I'm so thankful for the strong, selfless, caring, and faithful man you are. And I'll be thanking God for you forever. I love you so much. There is no words to describe the fullness of my love for you. You embody the unspoken beauty of the faith. The grace you carry lightens your step and lifts all of those around you. Today is our wedding day. No matter what happens today, we will leave this church, husband and wife. Unified in our faith, we will have processed side by side all those we love at our sides. These are the moments that matter. I love you now more than ever and every day following ever more than the last. It's my greatest honor to walk at your side. I can't wait to see you walking towards me in white. JD. They say opposites attract. Well, that couldn't be more true for JD and Mary. One is short, the other tall. One was a Michigan fan, and the other was an Ohio State fan. Mary likes to rush through things. JD is never in a hurry. Mary must be on time for everything and stresses about being on time. While JD could care less. He could be, for example, late to his own wedding rehearsal, which he was. 
and couldn't be more at peace. JD and Mary, your love for one another is a selfless love. It's why it's so special. It's why it's so attractive. It's why others want to be with you. It is that love we find at the Last Supper as Jesus dined with his disciples, and it's the same love we find upon the cross. Somewhere to go when it rains and it's cold. Somewhere to fall asleep. St. Paul said in his letter to the Corinthians, but I shall show you a still more excellent way. St. Paul was referring to the life of love if lived out with patience and kindness, humility and selflessness. It is the more excellent way. Love never fails. Mary, receive this ring. Receive this ring as a sign of my love, as a sign of my love and fidelity. And fidelity in the name of the Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. James. James. Receive this ring. Receive this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And fidelity. And fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Another quality that I value in not just Mary, but in JD too, is their trust. They have been so strong ever since they started dating that I don't think any of us doubted that today would come. JD is truly such a selfless, thoughtful person, and he is the best person for Mary, and I am so, so, so happy to officially have him as my brother. Through long distance, attending different colleges, and living in different cities, they have overcome many trials, but they always make time to catch up on their day. But really, I admire the relationship that they have built and strengthened spiritually and emotionally these past few years. I'm going to miss them so much once they move. But now I get to be in their shoes and have the late night phone calls with them. Was it in my mind? Uh, Mary, I, I don't remember the first time I met you. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I do remember the first time you, my mother, and JD were in the same room. And let me tell you, it was not a quiet day. Uh, but that is the moment I realized that you were probably going to be sitting at this table. You and JD have hit it off since day one. And it's been uh, non-stop talking since. Um, Hey, the final toast for Mary and JD. Go for it, set the world on fire. How did I know JD loves Mary? I have a special reserve seat for you, JD. So I get a call from JD in February last year, and he asked me if I want to go to dinner in a Red Wings game. And so I figured this one out pretty fast. Even I could figure this one out. So we get up to Detroit and walk into a busy restaurant. No reservation. The host starts walking us to the table. We pass probably five or ten empty and what I would call normal tables. And then the host stops at an empty table with just the love seat and no chairs. So JD and I kind of snuggle up on the love seat just like this. But JD's a pretty cool cat. And he didn't miss a beat. And he sat on a love seat next to his future father-in-law. And like a boss. He told me his world revolves around Mary, his faith, his work ethic, his family, and my family. And asked for my daughter's hand in marriage. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I know Jay loves Mary. Sweet.